good morning, world. Well, it's now uh, two o'clock in the morning. Um, I was supposed to be going surfing today. Probably missed that, but I'm going to go find out if we can still do it with my good friend Ricky. Uh, but, like, my, my, my phone was, like, vibrating like crazy in my wristband because the Nabu vibrates as well. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Is there an earthquake? And then, um, no, lo and behold, it was the... Uh, do you remember yesterday how I said that guy left his toolbox behind? Well, he came collecting it. And he was fucking ringing my doorbell like a goddamn fucking fire drill. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go back to bed. Bye bye. This song is so good. It's like my number one favorite track right now. Hermitude is amazing, and I'm totally gonna try and reach out and see if I can use their tracks. Cause this track, dude, is like dope ass track, dude. This bit, you ready? That voice. So good! Okay, so I'm just watching uh, the Optic Mailbox video before I get out of bed. And someone in the comments pointed out this funny moment. So whilst these two are messing around with the box, watch Pomage go for this pen and watch Nick's face. Watch his reaction, you ready? Watch this. <laughs> he gets so upset that Pomage took the pen. Three o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm only just opening my, my, my curtains. I don't know why, I just really, really like this song. Yeah, that's how I dance at a club. You can tell I get all the, uh, the female attention. Well, I just saw my landlady for a bit. She just came over, just like showing her how the apartment looks and everything and like stuff that I'm planning to get for it and upgrade for it. And she loves it. She thought it was really nice and just fucking streaming, super angry. Chat, why are you talking about plumerians? Plumerians is a species of non-subscribers, apparently. Look, everyone can see the blog and hey, whoa, Jorez, Major Jorez, Juarez, is it Juarez, Mojarez? Somebody's really thanks for subscribing. I'm terrible with names, but look at this. 36,000 kills, we're getting there boys, we're getting there. Rank 21 on our way to Prestige 3. Would you look at that? I'm going to Hollywood in a bit, so I'm gonna play one more game of zombies, and then I'm going downtown, uh, no, Hollywood, I'm going to West Hollywood uh, to go and listen to some musicians play and hang out with my friend Ricky Crompton, he's a beast BMXer, and uh, yeah, you'll hopefully recognize him, and uh, hopefully we'll hang out and go and do some cool shit in LA, yeah! I love how he's just up there on his own, he's always looking down at me, there's still, I'm gonna put nothing on that shelf and just keep him there to just be like, hello, or fuck you, I think that's more of his voice. Oop, almost missed it. The chat is just going completely hyper mode right now because they know I'm vlogging. Yeah! Okay, dokie, Jones. We have this rendering out, which is awesome, which, by the way, it's an hour and 40 long. So this is probably going to take about five hours to render out. My PC is good, but it's lacking. I'm going to try and get the performance upgraded so it's just a complete and utter beast. But yo, T Martin's texting me saying, yeah, bud. But I'm in a predicament. Now, I told you guys I was supposed to be going out, meeting up with an old British friend, like, Really good dude. He's not old, like an, an old friend that I've known for ages. I've known him since I was about 13. He's called Ricky Crompton. He's amazing at mountain biking, like downhill mountain biking and like BMXing and stuff. So I'm supposed to be going meeting up with him at half past seven to go to like a concert. Now the thing is, we were Facebook messaging for about an hour and a half, and he was like, "Yeah, you know, I'm trying to get uh, an Uber to get over there," and he never ended up telling me if he got an Uber or not. Then all of a sudden he disappeared. I carried on streaming for an extra hour, so I don't know if he's gone to this venue going watching his friend like perform music or whatever. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the address that he gave me anyway. I'm just gonna get a beer just in case there's drinks at the place, you know, be ready to go. So I'm gonna go over to where he's go he's heading, thinking he might be there or not. I don't have his telephone number. All I have is his Facebook. I'm gonna travel all the way out there, and fingers crossed he's gonna be there. And if he's not, then it was a fun adventure for us to have. Oh, uh, my investigation? My investigation skills are awesome. So it opened at 10. What? I can't even English. It opened at 7. It starts at 8. But then they put out a tweet saying going on at 10 LA. So I'm going to track down whoever the hell performers links. Okay, okay. The investigation continues. My Mr. Little Jean says, did they say anything? I don't know. There were tweets of about six minutes ago going on at 10. I haven't missed it. I haven't fucking missed it. Yes! Oh man, I actually, like, I relied on today's vlog consisting of me going adventuring, checking out this band, and I was just like, yeah, it's gonna be great, I'll stream all day, go do that, it'll be adventurous. Then I thought I fucking missed it, and I miss meeting my friends, so hopefully not, and you'll love Ricky, by the way. Ricky, I'm gonna get him into vlogging, and he does a little bit of it, I'll put his YouTube link down below if he is making videos at the moment, but 
go and show it, check out his stuff. If he's got his bike and stuff on his channel, your face will orgasm. Yo, someone's cooked some food on my floor and it smells good, but I need to burn the exercise, so we are taking the stairs as per usual. And yes, I really need to wash these jeans. They're full of fucking stains and shit. All oh, right, I was not expecting to go for the door handle and then the alarm start going off. I was like, I am not robbing this vehicle, I swear. <laughs> fucking made it. I absolutely made it right now. I've got to try and find Ricky. I found it, got my ticket, got him. No, I d no idea where he is. Fuck. This is gonna be difficult trying to spot Ricky in a dark crowd of people. Fuck. I fucking found him! I fucking found him! And I walked in and so I'm talking to two girls and I'm like, there is the man, the myth, the legend. Ricky. I have no idea what's going on. This is a dope cover of this song. So whilst we're watching this, me and Ricky and our good friend over here right now have just decided that we're gonna go shark diving. Shark diving with cages, with cages. We're not crazy. Unless you wanna do it without a cage and you're fucking insane. Yeah, I'm gonna do it without pants. Oh, cage. just read your dick out like, come and get it, come and yeah. get it bitches. But it's basically, like that is, that's, what is this? Is this a, it's like a little mini dildo. It's a mini sausage. Would you like to plug it in your phone? Does it work? Yeah, because it's your phone. Again. All right, we're gonna try and test this, but us three, whilst he's here, we're going cage diving. Are you gonna come to Vegas with us? Why not one day? Uh, the 12th for the Colin McGregor fire. Because we're going to Vegas. Sure, why not? Yeah, there you go. He's down. You Surprise. Be, I'll be there. I'm updating everyone on everything we're doing. <laughs> Went to the toilet after about like 10 songs. I was in like I was in like 20 minutes. Came back and we got beers to drink and it's over. Video logging all night long. I went for a piss. Oh shit! It is actually over. That is that is all, folks. That is all. So I was like, oh yeah, I look like a really young guy at this place. And I was like, oh, this guy over here looks really young. But let me just put it here. Look how tall he is. Stand up tall. This is Rudger who watches my videos. How tall are you? Six three. Yeah, I'm five foot nine. Go fuck myself. I'm saying I like how I turned up three hours late to the show. Didn't miss the show. Enjoyed all of it, apart from the last fucking song. So kind of, I, I kind of, I kind of miss the show technically. Anyway, cheers. Seems to be an issue. It seems like there's there's still alcohol in your drink. Ricky, drink it. See, I'm such a great influence on people that I surround myself with because I just make them drink alcohol. And for the record, tell how long I've actually known Ricky for. How many years? I think. So I was 11. I was 11 at A Forest. Now I'm 22. So for 11. And I'm 28. So what? 11 years. 11 years. I've known Ricky for 11 years. I'm not gonna lie. I have no idea what is going on right now. I've got a wild British guy and then two twins over here. Shit happens. Why is this a thing in a shop window? This should. And what? We got Bob Ross. We've got me. We've got this guy. And like, this is like, what is happening right now? Me and Ricky are waiting for an Uber. Like, Uber. Ricky's completely 110% the life of the party right now. Yeah, we were yeah. trying to try to have a normal yeah. Yeah. It was, we either got in this ass bus or we got in a Mercedes. Thank you, my sir. How are you doing? Good. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. There you go. Travelling style. <laughs> As weird as it sounds, that van right there, follow that van. It might be turning around, but that we're going where they're going. So follow that van. Not gonna lie, best thing about this so far. What the hell are those yellow ones? Free sweets. They're well nice. Butterscotch. It's like yeah, butterscotch. That is what they are. But, they? Butterscotch. butterscotch sweets completely. Is that when you grew up as a kid? Completely rotting out our teeth. Do you like right a now. butterscotch? No, not really. Which I like a Werther's original. <laughs> but nonetheless, tastes super good, and we look super creepy right now. 
because we're in. Wait, it's actually the other way around usually, isn't it? It's usually the guy guys in the van following the other people, but instead we're in a Mercedes following the people in a white van. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to an after party, so we're, we're just like in butterscotch. they ran out of room in there, so he was just like, right, we'll get an Uber, order an Uber, and um, we're just gonna travel to where we need to be. I can't even see Ricky right now. I'm not quite sure what's <laughs> gonna happen after this but we'll see listen that's how the vlog works we see what happens Afterwards. and enjoy the fuck out of it i seem to have located myself in a very 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 hipster shaking whiskey drinking bar it's that low lit you can't see shit <laughs> like literally this night was a series of events that got me to here and by the way i rang my dad and i am buying my dad a plane ticket to come and join me hanging out in la for a week in two days that's the thing I am so pissed off right now. You see these glasses? These magnifying motherfuckers. I can actually see better with these on than I can without them. Things just kind of look a little bit blurry. Everything looks good, but a little bit blurry. But if I put them on, I can see everything. Everything from no matter what distance in like 4K. Fuck! My eyesight's gone to shit again! And so the nights end with a camper van in someone else's building. An empty bar outside. And this is what... That's Yeah, that's Ricky. Ricky's just doing his own thing. Two days, it's gonna be me, my dad and Ricky getting drunk in LA because why the fuck... Ricky, what are you doing? Oh my god, the dance... The dance. Pretty fucking rude! Yeah! I fucking love this guy. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh my god, this guy is like, oh, we throw that, that shit down, that, that mustard, dude. We throw that mustard down, dude. <laughs> so, this is called commentary for what I do. Apologies. But, like, yeah, bro, he's throwing that mustard down, the onions down. What is it? This guy's twerking inside. I like what I see. I'm not even gonna lie, this food is so good. It's so good. Ricky is like beyond. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Sorry, what? Sorry, am I kidding you for what? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Am I kidding you for what? Are you just like, period, are you kidding me? What am I kidding you for? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're gonna teach me once Norwegian swear word, and I teach you one. All right, go ahead. Fun. Fun. Is that fuck? Yeah. Basically. Ah, shit. All right, do you know what wanker means? Yeah. Oh, no! Oh, um, you know wanker as well. Um, this is English to Norwegian swear words. All right, you ready? Yeah. Felland. I know what that oh, is. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> I know what that is. Okay, this is easy. Bastard. Yeah. Oh, shit! Um... Twat. Really? Wow, this is ru... Do you know a... Do you know a British swear word that... No, all I can think no. is like, like Puton. Oh, that, that was a really, <laughs> that was a really British accent right there. That was really good. I am genuinely trying to think of a swear word that you guys wouldn't know. Fuck. Mm. Yep. Uh, I managed to make it home. Uh, many drinks were consumed. This is not what I expected on a Sunday night. I have mail. Yes. Priority. Yeah, fuck yourself. For the record, that was not a drunk thing. I know exactly what's in this package, therefore I know I can kick it. Oh, my shoe came off. Shit. Oh my goodness, I just got a package of Syndicate Original Swag. This is not, have even been, have it even? This has not even been seen before the public, ever. Oh. My. Goodness me. Oh shit. If you guys don't have a Syndicate original t-shirt, now, now, is the time to obtain one. I love my clothing line. Holy shit, I did not know this is what was getting delivered. I thought they were sending me Matrix shirts. I just got the brand new shirts that have not even been released yet. Oh yeah! Well, as a man of my word, I am now booking my dad a fly out from Manchester to LA for 10 days. I said a week, but I'm gonna get in for 10 days. He's coming to join me. Meanwhile, I am listening to Hermitude dropping the mother trucking bass. Ladies and gentlemen of the Syndicate Original World, this right now is the Diamond Digger t-shirt. 
not even kidding. We did the Gold Digger limited edition first ever shirt we released, 300, and that was it. But guess what? Everyone loved the design. We agreed, we did a poll, we did votes, we did everything. And we decided upon releasing the Diamond Digger t-shirt. Now tell me, that doesn't look swaggy as hell. I'm not gonna lie, this is one hell of a badass design. Look at this, Syndicate Original. This is not even a line or design that has been released for your guys' faces to look at, but would you just look at this? Badass beast of a shirt. If you guys want it, syndicateoriginal.com. It's available for your faces. But nonetheless, as usual, I'm lying down in bed. It is nearly six o'clock in the morning, like this is a casual thing. The sun is rising, I can see it coming underneath my curtains, and I am going to bed. So thank you very much for watching. There is the light, I'm going to bed, and good night.